Hello, I'm Johnny and this is my YouTube channel. So today it's raining outside. I just love rainy days. So I'm very excited to share with you this book that I, I've had on pre-order since the 18th of November last year. Um, and I've just got it yesterday, which was the 5th of May. So I've waited about five and a half months for it and it was well worth the wait. It's a colouring book by Stephanie Pugh Min Law. Sorry, Stephanie, if I've uh, pronounced that incorrectly, which I probably have. Um, but she goes by Stephanie Law on this book. Anyway, it's a colouring book. Um, a magical colour and search journey. I'll read the back of it. Discover intricate realms of wonder, uncover the mysteries of secret worlds, a magical colour, search and journey. As an artist, Stephanie Law explores the boundaries between dreams and reality, enchanted creatures, cats, birds, foxes, unicorns, sea animals and more come together to form each breathtaking scene along with hidden objects to find in each image. Oh, that's like what um, Kirby Roseanne does. Uh, spark your imagination as you bring these pages to life with colour and find each item throughout. So before I, I'm just going to give you a quick flick through. Before that, I'll give you a bit of information about her. Um, she's an American painter and an illustrator who works with watercolour. Her art is inspired and depicts scenes of fantasy. Brilliant. That's just right up my alley. So I'll just show you the other book I've got of hers. I think I bought this about two years ago, I'm not sure. Um, so on this book she goes by a full name. Or I'm not going to try and pronounce that again. And this is Shadowscapes Colouring Book. And I think the publisher, yeah, the publisher is Llewellyn's. So I'll read the back of this one. Lovingly, lovingly drawn by Stephanie Law, these 60-plus colourable illustrations feature scenes from fairy tales, myths and folklore found in cultures around the world. Engage your creativity through the absorbent act of colouring and immerse yourself in the imaginative realms of shadowscapes. Each page has, a perfor per has perforated edges for easily removal and suitable for display in a standard frame. Oh, I didn't know that. Let's see. Oh, yes. Let's see if that one has. This one hasn't. But I don't think um, anything that I can colour in would be worthy of going into a frame anyway. So, I'll just show you some uh, of her artwork here. Isn't that amazing? Absolutely brilliant. So lifelike. Anyway, I got this in a, it was a calendar of hers. Um, and I've got them stuck on my living room wall because every time I look at them, it just inspires me. And here's another one. Amazing. She's got a, um, she's got her own YouTube channel. Um... And she's got quite a few books out. I've got all of them. And it's uh, in the book. It explains how she achieves her art. And a tutorial. So you can do some of her art. And I want to show you these. I've also got... Um, she brought some tarot cards out, Shadowscapes, that's like the same as this book, the title of this book. Uh, I paid about fiver for this uh, from eBay, I think, and it's um, it's like a gift set. I mean, I don't do tarot cards or anything, I just bought it for the artwork. And it's quite a nice box, sturdy box. It shows you some of the tarot cards. Um... Should I read this out? Is it too long? Surrender to the fa fantastical world of your deepest dreams, where butterflies float upon sh shifting mists set aglow by the rising sun. That would sound so much better if I wasn't saying it. 
A place where twisting branches arc across shimmering skies, willowy... Oh, it's all a mouthful there, so I'm not going to read that. But uh, if you want to read it, you can uh, pause it. There you go, and it's a magnetic clasp here. And this is the book. The book explains uh, what each tarot card means. Uh, beautiful artwork. Give you a quick flick through. It's a shame it's not coloured inside, but the tarot cards are, so it doesn't really matter. There we go. And then you get this little ribbon thing to pull up and you can get the cards out. But I'll only get a few of them out and show you. I won't show you the whole lot. Oh, my fat thumb's in the way. Oh, can you hear the seagulls screaming outside? I bet they love the rain as well. There you go. So that's them. So I'll give you a quick flick through of this book. Oh. Thought he had it upside down then. Absolutely amazing. Right, now a quick flick through of this one. Oh, what's it feel like? Just feeling the cover. It feels different. That's like a plasticky and that's more smooth. Right. Oh. I suppose that's it. That's the answers, isn't it? Right at the back. And this is the things you've got to look for. So detailed. I hope I can do the book justice. That's that. So that's <sighs> a take a deep breath there. So that's um all I wanted to say and show you, I highly recommend these books. She's a fabulous artist and she really inspires me. So, that's it. Johnny signing out. See you, bye.